Hello, my name is Bernard Kast. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new sticker animation in PowerPoint. At first, I'll show you what exactly I mean. Now here we go. Here we have the, the new sticker effect. And it keeps looping forever until I close the slide. So next step is I'm going to show you how it's done. We start with a new blank slide. And at first, we insert a rectangle for the area where the new sticker is running. Be sure to span from one side to the other side. And the next step is to add the text. So we insert a text box. Basically, it should be about the size of the new sticker box. So then here we go. Select the proper font. I use Franken Gothic Heavy here. And I recommend uppercase letter, but it depends on your style. So new sticker text. New sticker text. Now the next step is to make the text big enough to read. And it's a little bit too big, so let's go for 0.50 here. So it should fill out the whole line. In this case, it's way easier in the future to have a continuous loop because it's only the first step. Now I changed the color because the next step will be way easier if it's a different color. So I go for blue here, dark blue. And we select the animation and we take a fly in animation and make it from the right. Here we go and we see it's way too fast. So we go up for five seconds. Now let's test it out. That speed seems appropriate, but it stops. Next step is to go to the show additional effect options here. And we want to have repeat until the end of the slide and everything else we keep. So let's have a test. So here we have a problem. The text moves to the left, to the left side of the picture and then disappears and starts over. We don't want to have this. We want the text to move out of the picture. So next step is we move the whole text to the left side of the picture. Be sure to zoom out beforehand. Here we go. Now this is only one step. So now the text moves out of the picture in the animation. But we want another text to have a continuous flow. So we copy this. Very important, go to the animation for the second one, start with previous, and now you take the duration divided by two and that's your delay. Because when the text is halfway through, you want to have the another text come in. And the final step, which should be pretty obvious, you put the text exactly above the other text. And let's take a look if it works. And here we go. Now you probably noticed the text now seems to be a little bit flickering and way faster. That's because it travels now twice the distance. So let's make a final adjustment. So let's, this is the second one. Let's edit the first one. And let's say we go for 10 seconds. And here we have the same 10 seconds. And of course the delay half the time. So it should be five seconds. Right? And finally, don't forget to move the text up. The perfect match and the final test. And here we go. Text comes in slowly but surely and it's continuous 
So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.